Um, and I also learning myself uh, all those great Power Apps um, features in Microsoft uh, in, in one community called uh, AI for non-technical uh, backgrounds. So, uh, you know, if anyone who is similar to me, who is not really technical, but uh, want to learn these apps, just try because I found it's not that difficult and it's really fun and I found out it really, um, uh, you know, uh, extends your ability to the next level. So for today, I'd like to uh, talk about why Microsoft invests in community leaders and how uh, this community leadership can help your career. Um, yeah, this is my, um, so, and you will learn how to grow yourself by embracing constant failures and you will learn how Microsoft evaluates its employees. Um, so during um, the presentation, welcome to leave your question, even though I cannot answer during this session, but I will try to answer uh, after the session. Um, first of all, let me introduce my team. So here is all the team members in our global core headquarters, but um, those are all coming from uh, all around the world because we have these great members of employees who actually take care of um, community leaders worldwide. So yeah, I'm, I, I think you already found out me in here. <laughs> so, and then I'm actually uh, managing the regional manager of um, all those Asian, including Australia. So I'm really gl glad that I, I can actually share some of my story for ASEAN um, women's. And, oh yeah, here is some 3D factors that you can actually easily include this 3D factor and you can find a lot of good objects in PowerPoint. So just to search through th 3D and it's, you know, actually every day by day by day, uh, Microsoft is adding features of new updated AI features and also these great features, especially when you are using Office 365, which is, um, it's it's monthly about $70, which is really cheap, but you can uh, try, try out the most uh, recent technology of all AIs, uh, which included in our Microsoft um, the services, not only for Power Apps, but also there are a lot of good features that you can try out um, for my, to experience Microsoft AI uh, features. And I'm actually coming from very rural area, so of my uh, so South is South Korea. So um, I'm not sure how many people are familiar with South Korea, but some of you uh, have experienced to watch some of Korean drama. Uh, you probably know there are a lot of big cities, but uh, also there is a smaller city. But you know this is almost 30 years ago, 40 years ago. <laughs> so it's a lot, a lot changed, but by that time I grew up, it's very near to the ocean and it's very small village. And I can hardly see any foreigners and you probably know um, Korea is very homogeneous. So almost 90% from like original Korean. So it was very difficult for me to actually uh, become employee of this kind of multi uh, like multi country like multinational um, company but yeah let me tell you uh, how I could uh, go into this career so my first career was not very successful because even I graduated actually from um, English literature and English education which uh, I was supposed to become a teacher, English teacher, but uh, by the time I um, graduated from university, there was a huge uh, economic crisis in Korea called IMF. And it's a similar situation now, like coronavirus hits everywhere. So there was no companies hire new employee. But by that time, I was introduced to um to join a very very like university students um organizing a uh, small startup 
So there was only four students who actually run the company. I joined that um, com uh, company for as a like startup uh, like um, you know, member. So there was no manager, no one to learn from, and no money. And actually, I even though I spent three years, but there was um, and and ended up with bankruptcy. So very difficult um, early age of um, career. But I found out, you know, it actually helped me to improve myself. And then um, the way that I built my ability to survive in the startup actually helped me to go through the uh, the next career. Um, I, I dare to say that if I didn't have this kind of very difficult moments in the startup, I couldn't survive in Microsoft because, uh, you know, later you will learn how my, it's difficult to survive in Microsoft as well. Um, and actually, no manager, uh, you know, um, so actually lead me to learn how to become a leader and no one to learn from, uh, help me to looking around teachers everywhere. So that helped me to grow ability to go you know, everywhere and, you know, to, to find out teachers everywhere. And no money means hard work. So it makes me too hard to, to put more work. Uh, and it kind of attitudes gives me a very, very good, um, um, the benefits uh, afterwards when I uh, pursue the, uh, the career. And there was a bankruptcy. So there was actually, a, you know, the company just shut down. Um, but I, I learned that it's okay to fail, you know, even though it, it, I put like three years, like I couldn't sleep until like midnight uh, or even past midnight during that three year to make this company stronger, but um, finally failed. But I found that it's okay to fail, even though it was really you know bad, but you know, it was okay <laughs> because I found out next to career, uh, based on my experience over there. And then um, there was, um, you know, like several uh, opportunities to grow further. And then I became a Microsoft employee, but uh, it didn't really uh, give me, a, you know, like, like easy roads to, to the next career because um, I was a product manager, but that's, you know, the product that I was managing was actually failing, you know, for seven years, more than seven years. So even though I put how much money, uh, effort I put, the service was decreasing because um, by that time I was managing MSN Messenger. Uh, I'm not sure how many people actually remember it. And then there was um, other like competitor, competing services like um, like we have a like now it's with Kakao Talk or a uh, line you probably know uh, but by that time we had another very good uh, services and then you know there was only one person who taking care of this service in Korea and MSN messenger but there was no one it was so strong competition among other competitors but you know you will find out that those kind of competition is everywhere you cannot avoid there is nowhere that you know comp no competition exists. So um, it you, you know I could learn during this time that I you know uh, do my best, but sometimes you have to admit um, that there is competition. So you have to really uh, do the do the do the job in a very strategic way. Um, anyway, um, there was also a lot of operational issues, hackings and malfunctions. So very, very difficult seven years. And, and then finally, you know, finalized with the division actually shut down. <laughs> actually, those kind of uh, instances happened a lot during, you know, my 16 years career in Microsoft. This is, you know, starting, starting but there was another four times of, you know, my uh, division shut down because it happens all the time in the, those kind of IT company, not only Microsoft, but uh, Google or other Amazon, because um, 
they really encourage everyone to to try on the new services, new things. But uh, when the services go well, there is a lot more investment in monies or resources. But um, the service doesn't go well, then they just shut down. Then you know the uh, the employees in that division should find out their they way their way to go. So um, yeah. So during this all the time, you know, I happened i also uh decided to move on and then i finally got a like uh six more interviews and then i got a new uh, new job in microsoft which is managing influence global influences in microsoft which is mvps or rds and then i could expose to more of um the global influencers global tech leaders um, I started starting from Korea. I went to Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia, and then now uh, all APZGC region. Uh, then I I think roughly I met two thousand people. So one thousand is more like offline, but one thousand from online. So those are all the um, you know tech influencers and tech leaders. But when you look at those tech leaders, you probably see only the those kind of iceberg, um, you know, like a visible part, which is success. But many people doesn't, you know, cannot see these hidden parts. Um, the the you know the important area I focused and I noticed is how they actually those um, successful um, you know influencers, you know, face fails. I found out a lot of those um, successful tech influencers. They really fail us a lot, and then they don't fail, they don't really uh, receive this failure as a as the end. They just receive failure as a just meaning that they have to do again. So actually, they embrace these failures real a lot flexibility uh, with a lot of flexibility. And then the more important thing is how they, after they fail, actually after they fail, they do this persistence. So they persistently to do the next uh, steps. So, uh, you know, I can say a lot of people, they just fail, but they, they just, you know, don't do a game, but the successful people, they just persist to do. Um, so, you know, once you fail, it's not easy to overcome. Um, so you have to build other parts of the world. So uh, like hard work and dedication and good habits. So that is something, you know, um, naturally comes uh, up after you fail. So and then also for me, a failure is not easy. So I, you know, and then I, my first uh, life, the career life is not easy and there was a uh, constant failures so i naturally developed a, a way to actually um do my community so like more like uh build my own tenacity and re resilience so how i actually build my tenacity and resilience is through um the community study through community for example for me I, you know, um, I didn't really study ab abroad uh, during my early days, and also there was very small uh, chances to face foreigners. So I actually had a like community who practiced their their English in in theater form. So um, you have to actually uh, remember memorize a lot of good sentences for theater work. So and then you have to practice all the pronunciations and those kind of things. And then I just continued this community study. And also I learned I love to study like I love like anything around Chinese, Japanese, like movies, cultures, because they those are nearby. And I was so interested to learn. And then I actually joined the, this community and really you know enjoyed studying. Or like, even though I was in a, a startup, and which is really difficult, but I enjoyed those kind of moments that I study at the committee. And then also, um, while I do a startup, um, I did like online marketing study uh, committee, and I really enjoyed working, you know, and and read read this uh, the books, 
and also study together for online marketing. And now I'm doing like uh, AI for non-technical persons. Um, so these are very, very important for those uh, people who like uh, who wants to uh, continue their career in IT industry because IT industry constantly requires it requires you to improve yourself and learn yourself and teach yourself. So, but doing alone is very difficult. So I really encourage. And as you you are doing now here, so BZF's UZ, and these are great great things that you can you should continue. And then um, those study through community, it's more doing like co by um, contributing the communities. Like examples, uh, if you are more introvert or introvert um, characters, then you can just do yourself, but you can actually uh, help the communities in online. So like for example, translation of tech books is one of good uh, examples and also blog articles. So what you learn or like today, you see, like on a, today's um, uh, conference, what you learned, you can just write blog what you learned. Then you can actually build, uh, you know, try to teach others, then helps you to learn, you know, thoroughly. So, and the other thing is writing a book, tech from answering is also a very good example, and sharing technical knowledge through social media. Um, it's also good. So, you know, using social media is more for like sharing what you learned and, you know, help, try to contribute to the uh, community. I think that way it's a really good um, example of community uh, contributions. And if you're extrovert, maybe you can lead or participate in user groups or meetups or speaking at YouTube, speaking in conferences, study with community members, app development or making are those like more doing type of uh, study and by uh, contributing to the community is a really good example. Uh, and how actually uh, we Microsoft's value too. So, in our team, actually, we take care of community leaders worldwide. And then um, you probably would like to know who is community leader. It's share uh, my knowledge and experience as much as possible, and then help to grow community. Then you can build ability to make people voluntarily to listen to your opinion and knowledge. And then we call it this as a community leadership. So if we as a in our team and Microsoft really cares of these people who have community leadership. So not only grow themselves, but also try to help grow community. And then who has the ability to make people um, the volunteer to listen. So which means impact. So impactful, impactful person um, and as a community leader. So we, Microsoft has uh, tw over 25 years of um, history of uh, taking care of these community leaders. And, and we call those community leaders um, Microsoft's most valuable professional. And we have more than 3,000 people in the world uh, around 90 countries. Um, so APJ, GC reason we have 800 and um, Southeast Asia, we have about 80 people and I really, really um, encourage you to build yourself uh, as, a as a community leader and by contributing committees and then try uh, MVPs and so that you can actually build more ability and more impact, uh, uh, you know, and then it will definitely help your career. And and this is how we actually engage those community leaders to our uh, actual product uh, development. Uh, we invite all those uh, community leaders to the corp, and then we actually uh, help them to engage with all the product groups in Microsoft so that uh, we provide opportunity for them to share the feedbacks, and then also uh, help the product group get the really valuable feedbacks from the all over the um, uh, MVPs and RDs. And also these um, this man gentleman in um, here is a uh, Scott Guthrie who is 
EVP of um, Azure and AI, which is the most important uh, product in Microsoft. He is um, himself as a really impactful community leader because he's leading, uh, he has almost 200,000 uh, Twitter followers. And then he tried, you know, he were wearing these red shirts, which he, she, he used to wear uh, often and then goes to the community worldwide. And then we call it as a community a red shirt tour. So during that red shirt tour, he tried to listen to the feedbacks from the community and then reflect those committed to the next uh, the product product improvement. And then these are not only one, like events, but uh, ongoing uh, perspective like um, direct letters or email groups or we have a product group interaction as well so constantly the microsoft is listened to those uh, community leaders voice and then um as a as a as an individual community leader you know there are a lot more opportunity to be exposed to the microsoft product groups and also employees so that more chances to become an M uh, fte and not only for those becoming mb ft but also a lot of business chances and then also it gives them a uh, great chances to build their communities um, and then uh, build their impacts stronger so and then also we, we provide a lot of opportunities for those committee worldwide committee leaders to uh, to present on a big conference like Ignite Tour or Build, uh, so that you know provide some opportunity to grow further. Um, so this is Ignite Tour, but we couldn't do this year in offline, but we. Uh, did a great successful online um, uh, serve, uh, online conferences. Um, here is the story behind why these community leaders became more important. So you probably know all you know the sentiment and the sentiment. They are all um, uh, um, graduated from Harvard University, and they were um, you know the same. A classroom a friend and then be, you know made a company but this gentleman here is Satya Nadella it's a uh, it's he joined Microsoft as an, a regular employee but once he became a Microsoft employee uh, I mean CEO uh, and he actually changed the whole Microsoft mission as a uh, empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more so he constantly ask us to build good impact. So I told you the committee leadership is a really good way that you, you build good impact. And this is how Microsoft actually try uh, to tell every employees to build these good impact and um, empower every person. So, and then he, once he became an um, CEO, he, he really emphasized growth mindset. So this gross mindset theory is coming from um, a professor in early 1970, but um, he become a CEO, he really emphasized gross mindset. So uh, as you can see here, like fixed main mindset means uh, has a lot like uh, avoid challenges because they don't want to become a you know, failure. So failure is living of my, my abilities. But, um, you know, the growth mindset failures offer opportunity and growth. So the, the attitude to the failure is totally different. And um, the learn from feedback and also inspired by others, people's success. Uh, and my mistakes helps me grow. So like growth mindset really, you know, no matter how you, uh, you no matter who you are and where you are in, uh, located or what is your educational background that doesn't matter but once you you know declare yourself with a growth mindset from there you you declare yourself you learn from and you grow constantly and i will learn from feedback i will keep you know trying and never give up and then i i will be inspired by others people's success so
Hi, Soyoung. Um, Soyoung, we can't see you. It, it's frozen. Yeah, okay, you're back. Um, we can't hear you, Soyoung. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now we are. Now we are able to hear you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right yeah, now. but I don't know. Um, can you give me a presenting mode so that I can share my uh PowerPoint again? Yep. Sure, uh, Soyoung. So. For I now, I, now, yep. Um, so, okay, a few more slides. So I hope every committee leader is, uh, tr you know, to become a growth mindset person. And this is actually how we evaluate our employees. We actually uh, evaluate our Microsoft employees all based on this impact and also growth mindset. So uh, anyone in uh, Microsoft, they have to build growth mindset and and then um, and then they have to show the impact. So before um, the individual, uh, you know, employees, they should just focus on individual accomplishment. But then now they have to show their contribution to the success of others. And also they have to uh, build results on the work, ideas or efforts of others. So this, these two, so the attitude as a growth mindset and building the impact uh, by helping others success is uh, super important uh, to become an MVP. Uh, I mean, MVP also like employees. Um, so be a committee leader to grow yourself and committee is super duper helpful and also you know, a lot of um, chances that you can join and also you can lead. And then so yeah, this is my uh, presentation for today and I really encourage you to, um, you know, to to set your mind as a committee leader and then here is my yeah, email and also the LinkedIn. You, you are welcome to uh, link me in the LinkedIn and then leave question. Okay.